and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first expedition of the day. Y'all know we got the three expeditions each week that we want to play right away um, because you get a champion after each expedition. And of course, we're trying to build our Legends of Runeterra collection. So, uh, you know, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, these are our expedition days. We're right in the middle of that with Wednesday. So here we go. Let's embark. Let's do a draft. I'm going to use the coins because instead of the shards, um, because I can use the shards to uh, craft a champion if need be. You know, I want to try to make as many different decks as possible. All right, so let's begin our trial. We're going to be doing it. Trial number one. What do we got? Yasuo. We can make a Yasuo deck and try to build around a stun or recall as much as possible. But neither of those cards that go with it are stun or recall. We got Trindamir. Yesterday we made a pretty sweet Trindamir deck that we were 6-0 and then lost our last round with. And we got Darius. And Darius has the best two support cards. Legion Rearguard is a really good one drop, just a one, one mana 3-2. And Whirling Death is an awesome removal spell. So I'm kind of leaning towards the Darius. Like I think Trindamir is a little bit more powerful than Darius, Like if you just look at those two cards individually. But these two cards, the rear guard and the Whirling Death, are definitely better than Elixir of Iron and Mighty Poro. So I think I'm going to lean towards Darius. And we haven't played very much Noxus recently. Hey, what's up, Rex? Uh, yeah, I am. I have about. F I have. I'm in the low 40s for champions right now, like 42, 43, something like that. Like 43. That's why I vote for Darius as the only removal spell. Yeah, that's a good call there. Um, all these look kind of good. I, I like Lucian. Don't love those. Heimerdinger is so powerful. But Heimerdinger and Mystic Shot going with it is awesome. Scrap Dash Assembly is not great. But, you know, Heimerdinger isn't really a Noxus color. Or, you know, like Noxus. But, you know, Noxus and uh, PNZ work well together as far as making... You know, like aggro burn decks, you know, you get like the mystic shots and stuff with P and Z. Or we could go Shen and try to do barrier stuff, but all, a lot of the barriers are Demacia, so it doesn't really work there. Um, so this is kind of a, a difficult one. Lucian is like the, the straightforward go aggro with Demacia and Noxus, and maybe that's just the way to go. Yeah, exactly. I'm right there with you, Maniac. I am tempted tempted by Heimerding, Heimerdinger plus Noxus, but it may not be the correct choice. Because, you know, Noxus, we're going to get a bunch of, like, camp block creatures, you know, aggressive camp block creatures. But you do want to pair those creatures with spells. You know, Noxus can get us our creatures. We can use Piltover and Zaun for our spells. Hmm... Yeah, that's true. We go like Lucian, try to get a bunch of Rally. I feel like Standalone's not going to... The thing is, I don't really like these two spells with Lucian. Remembrance is just so expensive. And I don't... I don't. I feel like we'd be getting a whole lot of creatures with this, and Standalone isn't really... So I just don't... I don't like these spells with Lucian. I'm going to go... I'm going to try... I'm going to try Heimerdinger. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for the PNZ removal and Noxus early creatures. Well, this is three really good buckets. We get, you know, Trifarian's a great three drop and Whirling Death, which is awesome. Eager Apprentice is maybe the worst card here, but Mystic Shot is maybe the best. Mystic Shot's awesome. Then Saboteur and Marauder, those, like, this is an awesome, you know, great one drop and a really good three drop. This is a this is a three mana attack as a four three, so three mana four three. But then if, if you can get more Legion Marauders, they just kind of go crazy. You know, they start turning into like Trifarians and bigger, but they can block, and we get a really good one drop. And obviously, you know, you can't really have enough great one drops. Wow, I like all of these. I would like this to just be like my next three picks. 
So I don't think I'm going to take this because the Eager Apprentice is the worst card. So I think we're going to take one of the Noxus ones. It's just, do I want one drop and three drop, or do we take the big three drop and we get the Whirling Death? We should probably just take the Whirling Death. It's just such a good removal spell. So I'm going to take that. Um, I mean, challengers are pretty awesome. But I like really good one drop and really good two drop. Yeah, I'm going to just take great one drop, great two drop. Well, good one drop, five drop, good two and three. Probably just take two and three over one and five. Five being a little expensive. Legion Drummer is really strong. All right, we get to get excited, you know, get some burn spells and another one drop. We're going to have a pretty aggressive deck here, and I like it. So we're going to have Legion Saboteur and get excited. Oh, this is our worst pick that we've had so far. Trifarian Hopeful and Shunpo. <clears throat> it's not too bad. Grenadier is an okay two drop and then reckoner reckoner is a, a great seven drop you know it is a seven mana card so out of out of these two i think grenadier is better than hopeful they're pretty close though pretty close on the two drops um i i mean i like shunpo i think rally is kind of strong you know i think the rally's strong and so i actually do like shunpo reckoner is good too though has overwhelm i think i'm going to take the reckoner yeah we'll take grenadier and, and reckoner all right arachnoid sentry and blades edge back alley barkeep and Kempunk shredder or Mystic Shot and Academy Prodigy. Oh, this is a tough one. All right, I think I like these two, the two P and Z ones, more than this. The Sentry is good, but you know, Blade's Edge is a little weak. Um, Back Alley Barkeep is awesome. You know, so it's four mana, three, two, create a random card in hand. Like, that's just awesome. Shredder's really good. 5-2, deal 1 to all enemy units. Like, that's really strong, too. So, like, both of those are really strong stuff. We don't really have 4s and 5s. But, of course, you have Mystic Shot, which is awesome. And then Quick or Academy Prodigy is a really good 2-drop. So, you know, 2 good, two more 2-mana two spells. This is tough. So, like, if, we're, if we want to stay super aggressive, this is the most aggressive um, take. If we want to try to be able to play a, a bigger mid-range, this is it. But Shredder's pretty awesome. Deal one. Yeah. These are both really good cards. It's hard to pass this middle column up. I only have one Mystic Shot so far. This is tough. I want, I want both of these really bad. And this is even like a bad bucket or anything. I think fill the curve. So just get, get a four drop, get another five drop. That's probably the thing to do. We have a lot of stuff to play on 1, 2, and 3 right now. Okay, I can see that. Because we're not always going to be curving out. Got to, got to be able to have some late game power also. All right, so rear guard, shield breaker, perfectly fine. Looks like we're taking a Noxus thing here. Whirling death, we know that that's amazing. Kato the arm. Also a good card. Plus three, plus zero, Overwhelm. That can be really good with some of like, these bigger creatures. And Draven's biggest fan and Reckless Trifarian, which we don't have a Draven yet. But maybe we get one uh, after our first win. Hmm. I'm only at five spells right now. I should probably just take another Whirling Death, but can we have too many Whirling Deaths? 
possibly. Out of looking at like I'm I'm kind of deciding between these two. And out of these, the Kato the Arm is actually probably the card I want the least. The Whirling Death probably the one I want the most. Actually, maybe I take this one. Maybe I just take a 1-mana 3-2 and a Shield Breaker. No, we should probably take the Whirling Death. You don't think it's possible for too many Whirling Deaths? All right, we'll take it. Um, well, I think this is a pretty easy pick. Yeah, Vision isn't very good. Brother's Bond can be okay, but we don't really need it. Um, I think it's this. Just Minotaur Reckoner is just amazing. This card is awesome. I'm just taking the Reckoner. It's just so much better than anything else here. So you also get this 4-drop. I don't really know this card very well, but whenever another ally survives damage, get a plus 1, plus 0. Okay. Fine, whatever. It's a it's an elk. It's a four mana four five, but we're just gonna take Minotaur Reckoner. All right, I'm not taking another Kato Whirling Death. I think I want to take some cheaper stuff now. Well, we get Thermogenic Beam, is nice. Okay, I'm gonna go Thermogenic Beam, and it looks like we get Eager Apprentice then as well. But yeah, Thermogenic Beam is just really good can be heart, you know, bigger removal spell. Hmm. I don't love these. I think the one that I'm going to go for is is this middle one, get a 2 mana 2 3 and get a Noxion Guillotine. Yeah, we're just, we're going to go with this one. Kill a damage unit. Ooh, Battlecaster is good, and Might is good. Okay, those are good. Grenadier is good. Trifarian's good. Those are those are two good ones. And then another Thermogenic Beam and a Flash of Brilliance. I think I'm going to go with one of these. Um, I really like Battlecaster. I do like Might also. I think, I think we're going to go with this one. Even though Grenadier and Trifarian are awesome. Hmm. That's kind of tough, honestly. Between the Noxion Might and the Relentless. Maybe it's actually better to go here. Because Might... Is good when you have like a bunch of small creatures, you know, like spiders and stuff like that that you don't mind. You want them to to give it plus three, plus zero, and have them trade, and you know you can also use it as like a big finisher. Here we're playing a bunch of you know like three ones, three twos, five four stuff like that. That's just going to be trading, and so basically the might it doesn't help us trade. It just basically does more dam. It just does some damage to them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go this route. I'm gonna go Grenadier and Trifarian. I don't know. Battlecaster is awesome. Hey, Toasted. What are people voting? Is the voting working? Oh, it looks like the voting is not working. The Rune Terra Deck Tracker. Hey, Candice. I'll have to try to fix that. Maybe I'll just try quitting it and then opening it up again. Okay, anyway, um, sorry, and I'll go with the Battlecaster. All right. 
I don't love that pick though. Transfusion, deal one to an ally, give another ally plus two plus two, and a Whirling Death, a Culling Strike, and a Kato the Arm, or a Mystic Shot and a Flash of Brilliance. I want another Mystic Shot, honestly. So I'm going to take this, because I want the Mystic Shot. Flash of Brilliance can be, you know, it's it's random. But Flash of Brilliance is amazing with Heimerdinger, which we do have a Heimerdinger. So I'm going to take this. All right, now that's our deck. Let's We could do one trade. Wait, I have a Scrap Dash Assembly? Where did I get that from? Oh, whenever I just took the the Heimerdinger. Yeah, that card's horrible. Uh, the Assembly Bot's not that great either. Battlecaster for Mystic Shot. Oh, I love Mystic Shot, but why do you need? Why do I need to go with the Battlecaster or the Barkeep? I really like Battlecaster and Barkeep, but I really like these cards also. These two cards are horrible. Why can't I just get rid of one of these and get one of these? I don't want any of these. Hmm. I guess I'll take the assembly bot. I, don't, I really don't like that card. All right, here we go. Let's play some games. You think it was an easy skip? Hopefully the the deck tracker starts working. Um, yeah, our, our deck, you know, we got we, we got aggressive elements and and uh, removal. This is the kind of deck that it could be. It it is a little awkward to start with. We have a, a few awkward elements, but it could. <laughs> It could kind of get tuned pretty well once we start getting some more, you know, card changes and some some more champions and stuff like that. All right, Archelon. I'll do better this time. Well, I guess it's this three two is just gonna trade their two one. It's a good one drop also. I have my orders. I'll try anyone. Attack. So we're facing an aggressive deck as well. They got Draven and Fiora. I love a taste of the action. So it feels like we maybe have too many whirling deaths. No proto grind. Yeah, no, I'm playing this new new game, Legends of Runeterra, that I certainly recommend people checking out. Yay. I definitely want them to do... I want them to do a trick so that I could also do a trick. Do I want to... Let's see. Hmm. Oh, does Mike cause that to fizzle? Oh, I guess it maybe it did. Oh yeah, kill a unit with three or less power. Yeah, I could have caught. Yeah, I could have played Might and then fizzled that, and then also killed their thing. Yeah, I should have played Might here. Yep. Yeah, the is the is the deck tracker working now?
Okay, I guess... So, no, I guess you can't... Yeah, with the deck tracker, you can't hover over the cards in my hand. But you can see, like, the picture and then go go over to, like, the left-hand side. And, you know, you can see the mana cost. You know, so you can see, like, this This says three and it has this. And so go over to the mana cost. Looking for something that says three that looks the same. It's a little rough like that, but that's just how it is, I suppose. For decades, and you call on me now. Yeah, but unfortunately, I guess it, the deck tracker doesn't use the doesn't look at the, doesn't see the cards in hand. My shield is yours. All right, I'm just gonna barrier that. Um, yeah, it's gonna be Raven's staying at Rune for a while, Shaper. Darius. Kitty at 30. I've embarrassed fools twice your size. I think they're going to have some kind of trick. Just have to be worried about play, just playing Whirling Death first and they got all the mana and they could respond to it. And maybe thinking about using the Spinning Axe. Whirling death. Well, just whirling death them back. Of course, we need to put this card on the right because it needs to be supported. So now it gets plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Oh, it's burst. Gross. Burst speed. You know, we don't get to interact with it. Alright, well, we know they don't have any other tricks to help save this. Um, overwhelm the guillotine. Alright, we're just going to get rid of this guillotine. Get rid of that Draven. My beautiful face. So casting Might on the Cato the Arm next turn means we could maybe do a whole <laughs> lot of damage. <laughs> but hey, ne Necrolepsy, good afternoon. Party Sin, yeah, I've, I've started playing. Legends of Runeterra in a stead. Oh wow, Shunpo, what a card. 
Deal five, rally. Rally, of course, means that we get to attack. Well, I'll still, I'll still resolve though. So I still get to attack. We get the attack sword. And this should be lethal. They can't stop it. They just got a bunch of spinning axes. So it looks like we're going to pick up the first win. Yeah, that was a nice jump, though. So both of our whirling deaths were really good. We're so close to another champion here. So close. One more win. Both the whirling deaths were good because I didn't cast them immediately. Both times I passed to my opponent, let them play something, and then whirling death. All right, so we can... Okay, so I don't think I'm going to grab another Heimerdinger. We're not really, like, the best Heimerdinger deck, to be honest. Even though, I don't know, Thermogenic Beam and Flash of Brilliance are both very good cards with Heimerdinger. But anyway, the Darius... One gives us a Glory Seeker and a Reckless Trifarian. Those are both awesome. Or we could go Katarina, which is very intriguing. That gives us a Minotaur Reckoner, which is awesome, and a Might. I actually kind of want to go with this one and get the Katarina and the Minotaur Reckoner. I think I'm going to do this. I just haven't played too much Katarina, but Katarina is pretty sweet. I'm going to go this way, right? Yeah, Glory Seeker, that is true. Glory Seeker is, is definitely really good. All right, going to go Katarina. Because, like, we don't have, like, the most card advantage in here, so I think it's okay to tie up some extra mana. All you need to do is strike with Katarina once, and then she transforms. And then every time you play her, you rally. So then you play her on your opponent's turn, and you get to rally. Alright, we're just going to get rid of the six drops for now. Oh, those are not good cards. This is not good. Come on, get a one drop, two drop. Yeah. Let's say our deck has so many ones and twos. Yeah, because we don't have too too high expensive of a curve. Like, we don't have too much of a curve, so we can kind of play Katarina in the late game. It is passed. Well, my apprentice is pretty eager to get on out there. Just give me that spell mana to be able to use with like Whirling Death. So I want to get the Marauder out right away so I can attack with it, turn it into a 4-3. Try to attack with it and have it survive. Nah, they're going to have... I guess they're just going to have lots and lots of Mystic Shots, aren't they? They're double PNZ. I just realized that. It's it's pretty rare to be able to get one faction, because usually whenever you take the, the champion of one faction, they give you a champion of another faction that you then have to take. It's pretty rare to double up on factions, but I always feel like the deck when you do get to double up on faction, your deck is really sweet. I've only done it like twice and like both times my deck was awesome. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. For the hand. Watch and learn. Hey Jurgen, yeah. Change the stream name. Right. 
I'm like so dead. So dead. Yeah, they're gonna have a million mystic shots. I mean yesterday we did a we did one where we had like five mystic shots. But they they have also have Ezreal, so they get even more, so I'm thinking I'm pretty dead. Cause whirling death can't I can't kill this thing. So I can't block it. I can't ever get get in combat with it. And so I can't do damage, so my removal spells can't kill this. I helped build this empire. Oh gosh, I'm so dead. Easy as one, two, three. Their deck's pretty good. Who gets tossed? Especially how I don't have removal for Ezreal. Okay, um... Defend the Empire. I could see them playing a spell here. Darn it. I Obviously, I could have tried to Whirling Death, but I thought it would probably die if I did. And so I was hoping they were going to play a removal spell to try to keep, to keep their 4-4 alive, and then I would have Whirling Death in response. That was my plan. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Double Peddler with all these mushroom clouds and everything. Yeah, their deck's great. Yeah, Encrypt, replacing the magic with Legends of Runeterra. I wrote about why I like Legends of Runeterra so much here. I'm pretty. Je I'm just jealous. You know, I wish I could draft an all P and Z deck. That's all it is. I'm just jealous. Explosives primed. Yeah, but I'm, I'm actually just just taking lethal now. Yeah, their deck was awesome. All right, so sh we can trade Shredder for Assessor. 
That's not that's not a terrible trade. Battlecaster, stop trying to take my Battlecaster. And my Barkeep, stop trying to take those two cards. Ugh. How many five power creatures do I have? Not a lot. All right, I'm just gonna skip the trade. All right, well, hopefully we don't face another kind of deck like that, and then we just lose. Okay. <laughs> Replace, replace, replace. We saw the downside of, of Whirling Death. There. Alright, second time in a row we got rid of our cards and got this assembly bot, like my worst card in my deck. Explosives Prime. I don't want my worst card in my deck. I keep step with the heartbeat of Nazis. Who's ready to wreck it? He engages, but will he survive? Oh yes. I'm just fine trading the two drops and getting the three damage in. Our deck doesn't seem like a very good Noxion, Gu Noxion Guillotine deck, because whenever we do kill stuff, they die. And so it's not like... It's not like we play... It's nothing personal. It's not like we have creatures that don't die as soon as we play stuff. But I guess, I don't know, maybe this Crimson Curator will. You have time. Oh, Ugh, I can't respond to that. Maybe this assembly bot's just going to be awesome <laughs> after I just trash talked it. for the occasion. Fine. Darn. I was hoping they're going to attack with both and then turn on my guillotine. Um Fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Don't really know how I'm going to be doing this. We go kill that rummage. The dark beckon. Um...
reflect in me. Gaze upon me. Whirling death. It does. Is this count in my hand? So can I can I discard it to rummage? Wow, I can discard it. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I didn't know I could rummage that away either. I guess it counts as a fleeting spell in hand. That worked out really well. Come on! Come on. Ooh, still took the six six. Yeah, that assembly bot actually was awesome. That was as good as assembly bot could be. Yeah, good good job, assembly bot. Yeah, died a hero. Harem King, good evening. But yeah, that was a that was an amazing assembly bot. Um. Okay, so let's pull that and then attack. So they have to jump block. You cannot escape. Down to two. Oh dang, sorry about that first expedition. O2 on both, but this one you went 6-1 and now you're 4-0. Good luck. Yeah, I was saying that earlier that you know how like if you if you're 6-0 and then it's single elimination to, to try to get that last one. I feel like if you are 6-0, you should get the bonus loss, like where you get two losses. In the darkness. Nothing can stop you know what I mean? Like that's that's how I feel like it should be. Like you, you can get a second loss. Why would they sequence like that? Why wouldn't you just play the five one first and then play the set? Guess we do need to block. Is this the death you imagined? I don't think they'll have four mana deal six. All right, op surrendered. Yeah, they do have Vlad, but they only have one Vlad and we already killed the Vlad. Champion capsule unlocked. All right, we're gonna get a new champion capsule. P and Z. Double champion, a Teemo, and an Ezreal. Yes. Oh, awesome. So yeah, our, our champion capsule got upgraded. We got two champions. Teemo and Ezreal. Perfect. 
And like these are two really good ones to have in constructed, of course. You know, like I want three Ezreals and I want three Teemos. I had one of each, and so now we got two of each. That's awesome. That is that is great. Two great uh, champions to get upgraded. That is awesome. That is some fire, right there. Ooh, I got a I got a gas emote. Where's my... oh? Do I not have a gas emote? Oh, there it is. Gas. All right, let's change our region. Let's see. Where should we go next? I guess Shadow Isles. Let's see. All right, so as far as champions go, maybe I'll go Freljord and try to pick up, like, Ash. Where do we get for we get Ash? Oh yeah, and then Anivia. Yeah, so Ash, Anivia, Trindamir. What's the other Freljord one? Brom. Brom's whatever. Alright, I think I'm going to, to Freljord next. Oh, I guess I I do need Threshes from Shadow Isles. I do need a Hecarim, but I'm probably gonna use so I'm probably gonna use a wild card on Hecarim. So we'd have Hecarim, we need, I have Threshes, which I do want Threshes. And then what else is there? There's Callista with just one more Callista, and I've already maxed out on Elise. So there's a good chance that I'm getting Thresh there. All right, maybe we'll just go Shadow, Shadow Isles. No, I'm going to go Freljord. There's like comments and stuff from Freljord I want. Cool. So we're going to go try to get this next champion capsule. All right, but anyway, back to our expedition. Resume our trial. We can trade away Heimerdinger for Darius. That's an interesting trade. Uh, trade Legion Marauder for Whirling Death. We have enough Whirling Deaths, don't we? We have three already. Trade Eager Apprentice for Glory Seeker. That's a, probably a good trade also. Um, hmm. I think I may just grab another Darius. They need to go for the Glory Seeker. The Eager Apprentice, like that, that one game was kind of nice for us filling our spell mana. We do have a lot of spells. I guess we have 11 spells. Glory Seeker is really po powerful. It's definitely one of these two. Glory Seeker is better than Apprentice, but should I just take the Darius instead of Heimerdinger? I don't know. We have, we have 11 spells to go along with Heimerdinger. We do only have 11, but remember, our, our deck's only 20, you know, 33 cards, so it's a third of our deck are spells. So, like, if we play, like, one spell, and Heimerdinger is, like, a 1-3, and then the 3-1 turret, is that better than a Darius? Maybe not. Hmm. The upside of Heimerdinger is just so high. Darius is pretty high upside too. I'm gonna I'm gonna get another Darius. All right, so we're two and one. Man, that was a great champion capsule. Yeah, Hecarim is is maybe the most like yeah, that's a great champion to craft. Uh, Ezreal, Heimerdinger. Those are some of the most popular ones. Let's see. Yeah, Hecarim is is real popular, real good right now. Karma, you know, we played a couple different Karma decks yesterday. It kind of just depends on you know what you want to play. A lot of good options there.
How can I help? I learned that in class. Soul Shepherd. Do not fear Soul Shepherd's pretty good. I, I feel like I, I can two for one myself just fine. Uh, let's just go straight to attacks. No, Jordy. Yeah, I've switched over to Legends of Runeterra. And I wrote the other day why I really like the game so much. If you're interested in checking that out, if you're interested in trying the game. And why I like it more than magic. Alright, so that's another card advantage thing for them. So now they have six cards in hand and I only have three. And the one thing out here. So they have, they're up two cards now on me. But I'm hoping to just get ahead and have these two things... Finish them off. I have my orders. That's what I'm hoping. What did they say? Like, he said, what time is it? And then there was, like, a crowd that said something? I couldn't understand what they said, if anybody knows what they said. You're welcome, Jordy. Two Spectral Riders. So, I just passed, because... Trading with those things doesn't make a lot of sense. So, you know, they basically just played Fog. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four. So now they're only up one total card on me. You know, they have seven in hand, this one in play. Unleashed Spirits. Okay. And now we're even on cards. Okay, ready. Hmm. Yeah, I really should play Darius first. There's a good chance I'm attacking for lethal here. Good chance I'm attacking for lethal. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Even a better chance I'm attacking for lethal now. I'll do better this time. Strength above all. We want to attack with Darius last, because Darius transforms whenever they have 10 or less health, then flips into a 10, 10 power trampler. So now the, the Minotaur has Overwhelm, so has Trample, and attacks for 9. Because remember, the damage goes left to right. That thing plus 8, plus 4. That is not going to save you. 
But especially, it's definitely not going to save them with me having this whirling death. gonna kill this thing I mean, they were actually just dead with, they were just dead with this block anyway but now they're super dead see they, they were gonna take the four trample anyway now they take ten Okay, three and one. Ooh, we get to add another champion. So we can add a Katarina, a Darius, or a Heimerdinger. Katarina gives us a Kato the Arm and a Culling Strike. Darius gives us a Glory Seeker and Basilisk Grider. And Heimerdinger gives us Thermogenic Beam and Assembly Bot. So I already have two Darius. Do I really want a third Darius? I'm not really. I mean, I guess so, because Glory Seeker, besides, like, the, out of the non-champion cards, well, Thermogenic Beam's the best one, but Assembly Bot's not any good. Glory Seeker is the next best one. It's awesome. And then Basilic Rider isn't bad either. Four mana, six, three, Trample, because it's basically going to always trigger. So four mana, six, three, Trample isn't bad. So I'm going to take this. Even though we took another six mana champion, we did get a two drop, and a really good two drop to help fill in the curve. Two and a four. Two, four, six. Thresh, Hecarim, and Zed. Hmm. I have my orders. That's a good card. The Aristocrat shuts down my saboteur. For now. Until we get a little drummer. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Give our supported alley quick attack. Show them the might of Noxus. The hunter. You have to get me out of here. So I think they have the drain card. Two mana drain one. No? Or they were just. Just jumping. Am I flesh or shadow? Reporting in. Shadow, take you. Shadow, my bow. Right on. Overwhelm. That was a great card. Hmm. That was a great card. Remember why we fight. I'll do better this time. All right, it's getting the damage in. That's not a good trade for us, trading, you know, two creatures for a, a spider and one damage on that. That's not a good trade, but... These are dangerous take into account the amount of damage we got to do. It starts to look better. For the hand. I go unseen. 
Hmm. Hmm. Four damage? Or four mana? Oh, I had the wrong... I thought I had a, a Whirling Death. I don't even have a Whirling Death, so I'll, I'll just kill that thing. I Yeah, I'm currently at gold one. So maybe today, if we get some good wins, we can move up to the next... The next thing after gold. We're almost there. And of course, I just want to go straight to attacks before they get to play that spider. Hmm. Damage goes left to right. This will be us doing 12 damage. Boom. I I did that I did that um, overwhelm thing on the three two because that three two was my worst card and so if they if they did use removal I wanted you know if they had like a you know like a vengeance or whatever they had a removal spell I wanted them to use it on the three two and not on one of my better cards. All right, we can get rid of the flash of brilliance and get a puff cap peddler. We can get rid of get excited, get a trifarian, or the barkeep. Or glory seeker they really want me to get rid of this barkeep but i don't want to <laughs> i don't know if i'm a gold one copper one or brass one i know i really wish they would just put the name of them because yeah they all look the same you start on bronze it goes bronze then silver then gold and then it's like platinum and diamond um those two in whichever order and then it's uh the master rank there after that I don't know if I like any of these trades. Um, honestly, I don't know if I really want to do any of them. I could see doing the first one. But I don't know. Flash of Brilliance is you know a high variance card. Peddler, mostly a 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. The Poison Puff Caps don't matter. Yeah, they do need to polish the gold. Yeah. They, yeah it, like this right here is a lot more gold than... And then what the gold color on there looks like. I don't know why they don't have it listed anywhere. Like even in like the menu of like this is gold one. It's just a it's just a one. And I've you know we've had people in chat that are colorblind and say they they can't tell it they can't tell what they are at all. We'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of this four drop also. So we got a full-on Demacia deck here. They got to stay one region the whole time. Luckies. Warchefs. A two mana, two three, so now I can't attack. Who does not know the name Wow, that's a curve. That's a really good curve. Ouch. Batter him. You call this a fight? Uh -huh. No one goes hungry. It's a 
so rough. Well, this one doesn't look good for me. Barkeep, give me something good. A clump of lumps. Could have done better. That just always hits. Wow. GG's. Yeah, we're getting trounced again by a mono, mono region deck. That is just like the perfect curve, though. Warchef is an awesome two drop. Yeah, sure, into Garen. Cool. See ya. We'll move on. Alright, four and two. These trades have not been good. I don't want to do like any of these trades. I guess. I guess maybe we do this first one. Trade the Shredder for the Shield Breaker. Just get such bigger stats. Get a 6-5. You know, they both cost 5 mana. Instead of getting a 5-2, you get a 6-5. You don't do 1 damage to all the enemy units, but 6-5 is just so much bigger. I'll do that one. Yeah, you get you get a ton of synergy with the the mono region deck and, and draft. No, Spyler, they should still be on stream decker. Um, I guess I don't. I did change my name, so I don't know if that changed my stream decker. I don't know. Since I changed my Twitch name, maybe it changed my. Stream Decker page. Yeah, could change with the name. Yeah, looks like it did change with the name. I just typed that into the chat, or I just typed that into the search bar, and yeah, that works. Streamdecker.com slash deck slash Hawktie Live. A Teemo deck that actually drew Teemo. Well, good thing I got a Mystic Shot for it. Lump of lumps. What do we got here? You're welcome. Have a mushroom. Have three. Come on, boys. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Help me. All right, well, we got the puff cap peddler out of there. We've, we both basically have four cards. They also have the puff cap card. But we basically both have four cards. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. That card's good. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. Hey Storm, good evening. <laughs> Candice was here earlier. I'm not sure if Candace is still in here. Was was here earlier. I'm doing good.
Hmm. Stun an enemy. Man, sometimes Flash of Brilliance can be real bad. Oh, you're at plat four now? You think you leveled up? Awesome. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. Slow speed. Keep two for wanting myself. <laughs> so I basically can trade away my two, three, and the whirling death to kill this. Let it hit me, and I get 30 puff caps now. I have my that lets me play Darius and Thermogenic Beam. Time for the main event. Okay, you just leveled up, so yeah, you're probably in Platinum then. Hey, Rotian, doing good. Yeah, doing good. Having some fun with Legends of Runeterra today. We are up against it. With this game, if we lose this game, we are eliminated from this expedition. And my opponent has given me 30 puff caps, and I'm at 10. And they just... Got their third Teemo. Alright, Teemelo. See you later. Ooh, but I gotta get excited. It's exciting. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. So I'm going to stun the Teemo now so I don't have to use the Get Excited on it, because I, I kind of want to use the Get Excited on them. And try to win with this Darius next turn. Well, that's going to make it harder to happen. No, that's still... Okay, no, I still have lethal right now. Yeah, so I still have lethal. Let's 
Oh, I don't want to see that. No, I don't want to see that at all. It's a good attack. Well, it depends, because I need... I need to keep the Battlecaster around. Because I only trample 5 damage over this thing. Oh no, now I'll trample more, because I'll block this. I'll trample more. I need to keep my life total high because I have so many puff caps. Why not block Draven with Darius? Um, yeah, because they may like one of these other spells may be like a pump pump spell. Hmm. All right, we need to go just straight to attacking because of get excited. Come on. Hmm. Well, that was disappointing. They had that removal for Darius. All right, so we only got four wins. Not too good. Uh, not as good as I thought we were going to do. I liked our deck, but we only got four wins. So we do have a second trial, though. But, of course, the best news is we got the uh, that champion capsule in the rewards, and we got the extra champion in it. So we got another Teemo and Ezreal. So now I only need one more of each. So we're so we can start building some Ezreal and Teemo decks. But let's go ahead and, and uh, try trial number two now. Maybe we can get a mono region deck. That would be sweet. Um, but uh, all right, so we're about to start that. But I'll just go ahead and pause here. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Um, but that's it here for our first trial. And I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.